Hi, my name is Jessica Wunsch. I'm a registered nurse, mother of two boys, a wife, a runner, a marathoner, and a longtime back pain sufferer. For the last seven years, I've lived with chronic lower back pain. While there wasn't a specific instance or event or injury per se, it was something that started with a dull ache and eventually progressed into something that made my life pretty miserable. Um, well, probably the better question is, how doesn't it affect your life? For me, back pain affected everything in my life. I had to reduce my exercise. I had to make a lot of accommodations for daily activities. For instance, I couldn't sit at a desk and do work. Uh, my husband set up a workstation for me next to my bed so that I could type sitting in my bed. Um, it made me grumpy. It made me tired. It made me feel old. In fact, at one point, I made a promise to myself that I would no longer discuss my pain. I wouldn't say, oh, my back is killing me. I wouldn't utter any words about my back pain because I was so sick of thinking about it, of talking about it, about verbalizing it. And I knew if I was sick of hearing myself talk about it, that everyone around me must be too. It didn't lessen my pain. It really just made my frustration greater. However, I knew that I needed to do something. This pain wasn't going away, and I knew I didn't want surgery. I tried lots of treatments. In fact, I'm pretty sure I tried every prudent treatment imaginable from chiropractic care, physical therapy, cortisone injection therapy, uh, rest, exercise, medications, acupuncture. Um, really, none of these helped for very long. Um, the pain always returned. And the last bout of pain that I had kind of made me feel like I was running out of options. Um, I felt lost. What was I going to do next? And in a way, I could tell that my doctor was getting very frustrated with me as well. After all, he's a surgeon and I kept telling him I didn't want surgery. So after I debated what I was going to do next, I decided to switch doctors. And uh, my new doctor said he, he thought I'd be an excellent candidate for stem cell injection therapy. So after he did some diagnostic tests, we set up the appointment. And I was thrilled, very excited, and uh, couldn't wait to do this. My stem cell injection treatment was done in my doctor's office. It took approximately two hours. Uh, one hour of that was actually rest time. Um, part of the protocol for stem cell treatment is to have the patient lie flat for an hour following the procedure so that the cells can do their magic and adhere to the injured area. So, um, yeah, the whole thing took approximately two hours. I was awake for the whole thing. However, they, um, the doctors can give you um, like an anti-anxiety medication. And, of course, they numb the area where they aspirate the bone marrow. Um, for me, my doctor aspirated the bone marrow from my posterior iliac crest, which means the back of my hip bone right here. I have a tiny little dot still there. Um, they do use a mallet uh, to hammer a large needle into your hip bone. And honestly, that's what I was most terrified of. Uh, had me quite freaked out thinking about it. But I am pleased to tell you that that did not hurt at all. It's akin to having dental work. They numb your bone so much that you don't feel it. It's like pressure. Like when you're having dental work done, you can feel pressure. You can hear sounds. You know something's happening, but it's not painful per se. Um, I had seven injections in my back. I had um, 
three cc's of this bone marrow concentrate that's full of stem cells injected into my um, L5-S1 disc. And then I had injections um, at the L3 to L4, the L4 to L5, and the L5 to S1 facet joints bilaterally. Those are areas that I've always had treated in the past, so we did um, talk about it. And uh, both my doctor and I decided that we wanted to treat the whole package uh, to yield the best results. Um, so honestly, the procedure was really not a big deal. As soon as I had the procedure, my doctor had me rest in the room for an hour lying flat on my back so that uh, the cells could adhere to the injured area and do their magic. Um, so then after that, I went home and basically did the exact same thing. I rested for the first 24 hours, um, which was all I felt like doing. I do, I do think that, um, there was a substantial increase in pain that I was expecting for the post procedure. By the time I got home, um, four or five hours after the procedure, I was in significant pain. Um, my doctor explained to me that this could happen because um, the stem cells start an inflammatory response and that swelling causes additional pain. That's another good thing to mention is that you aren't allowed to take uh, anti-inflammatories and obviously after just saying what I just did, that makes sense. You want to allow the cells to do what they're supposed to do. So taking an anti-inflammatory medication could work against that. So you just need to take whatever medication your doctor prescribes for pain and use that accordingly. But I had my procedure done on a Wednesday and returned to work on Monday. So um, for the first three days, I really did need to take pain medication around the clock to mitigate the pain. Um, for the next two weeks, I was still, you know, sore, recouping back to baseline. However, each and every day I started noticing gains after the two-week mark, and by four weeks, wow, I felt like a new woman. I felt like I had a new back.